too many Microsoft certifications to choose from. Not sure where to start. If that sounds like you, stick around as I'll demystify the world of Microsoft Cloud certifications and help you along your journey to getting your first one. If it's your first time on this channel, my name is Soren and I'm a Partner Development Manager at Microsoft. I'm deeply passionate about helping people fulfill their career ambitions in the tech industry. And this channel is the best way for me to reach as many people as possible. All right. Let's dive into the video now. Before we go into specific Microsoft certification paths, let's zoom out and think about the different solution areas. There are four Microsoft Cloud solution areas, Azure, which is split into infrastructure, data and AI, and digital app and innovation, modern work, security, and business applications. Under each solution area, there are three tiers of certifications. The first one being your fundamental certifications. As the name suggests, these certs cover the conceptual knowledge and skills related to the tech solution. An example of this would be the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals course, which provides an overview of cloud computing. Secondly, you have your role-based certs. These certs focus on validating your ability to design and build solutions across multiple technologies. Examples include AZ104, which is the Azure Administrator Associate, and AZ305, the Azure Solution Architect Expert. Finally, there are specialty certifications which are designed to deepen your technical skills and also to help you manage industry solutions. These are by far the most challenging certifications out there and ideal for subject matter experts. An example would be Azure 140, which is the AVD specialty certification. There are four factors to consider before you start prepping for any Microsoft certification exam. The first one being career goals. Are you interested in technical or sales roles? Do you wanna be a generalist or specialist? If you wanna be a specialist, what do you wanna specialize in? Next, you should consider job market demand. Which certifications are in demand? What is the ROI on time, finances, and the effort that you invest into attaining this certification? Your background is also extremely important here. Are you interested in technical or sales roles? What skills should you develop in your next role? Finally, identify your interests. Do you prefer cloud, data security, or productivity tools? Ultimately, you wanna find the intersections of your interests, career goals, background, and job market to ensure you're developing the right skills needed to land your next job or to gain your next promotion. You've probably browsed through the 49 certifications on the Microsoft certification chart and felt a little overwhelmed by the options. I sure did when I first joined Microsoft just two years ago. Not to worry though, I've researched the most popular technical Microsoft certifications, and here are the top three in my opinion. AZ204 focuses on cloud development using Azure. It's popular because companies need skilled developers who can create and maintain APIs, cloud apps, and services. Azure is widely adopted, making this certification valuable for career growth in developers. In Skillsoft's pay scale ranking, individuals certified with AZ204 have an annual base salary of 100,000 USD, making it the certification with the highest ROI. MS-102 validates expertise in managing Microsoft 365 services, including SharePoint, Teams, Exchange, and more. As the way in which we collaborate evolves with hybrid and remote work, organizations seek administrators who can optimize productivity tools and ensure smooth operations. Again, according to Skillsoft, the average US base salaries for individuals with this particular certification is just over 95,000. Cybersecurity remains critical in the era of AI, and SC100 addresses security design and implementation in Azure. In Australia, we've had the recent data breaches with Medibank and Optus, and it shows that we have a long way to go in developing behavior that helps to mitigate and manage the increasing threat environment. Organizations are looking to prioritize securing their cloud environments, leading to high demand for skilled architects who can protect data, networks, and applications. Similarly, there's a strong ROI from the attainment of this certification, with the average individual earning just over 94,000 USD annually from that same research. For the viewers that are generalists, for example, the account managers and BDMs in the room today, here are the top two fundamental certifications that I would recommend getting under your belt based on my personal experience. AZ900 is a fantastic certification that provides a basic understanding of Microsoft Azure, covering cloud computing concepts, Azure services, and different cloud types, public, private, 
and hybrid. It wouldn't be a 2024 tech video if I didn't mention AI. AI 900 focuses on common AI and machine learning workloads, as well as services needed to run them effectively. In addition to generalists, these certs are also ideal for early career cloud professionals and students alike, wanting to learn more about the cloud and AI. If you're wanting to sharpen your technical skills in the Microsoft cloud, you should consider specializing in the solution area. Looking at the Microsoft search chart that would align vertically, companies are looking for professionals with deep technical skills. So doing that will increase your employability, but also your income growth. Keep in mind that Microsoft certs build on each other. So as you take more certs in one solution area, the ROI generally increases. For example, under the Azure Infrastructure Certification path, you would take Azure Fundamentals AZ900 first, which covers the basics of Azure. Next, you would take something like the Azure Administrator Associate AZ104, which builds on AZ900 knowledge. Then if you're keen to become an Azure Architect or Engineer, you would take Azure Solutions Architect Expert AZ304, which prepares you to architect complex Azure environments. Alternatively, if you're a Microsoft Account Manager or BDM wanting to get across the basics of what you're selling, then you're best off pursuing a breadth of knowledge across the Microsoft Cloud Stack. In reference to the search chart, that would align horizontally across the top. Microsoft partners look for sales professionals that know enough about the Microsoft solutions to speak about it credibly without leading it into a technical conversation. Being armed with the basic knowledge of cloud, AI, and security services through AZ900, AI900, and SC900 will make it easier for you to sell Microsoft's prioritized solutions. Now you've decided that you're ready to start preparing for your first certification exam. Where do I start? In principle, Microsoft provides all the resources you would need to pass the exam. There are comprehensive study guides and practice assessments for each certification. Whilst you can prepare by going through the structured learning path, take the practice assessment and book in an exam once you're ready. It's not the most time efficient way to prepare for the exam. However, if you're time pressed like me, then you're gonna to wanna to get a training video that can get you exam ready in just a few hours. John Saville is a well-known Microsoftie and YouTuber that produces exam training videos that are used globally without a hint of exaggeration. His exams have personally helped me in my past certification exam prep. Final tip. If your company has an education budget or you're willing to shell out some money, I would recommend Measure Up practice exams. I've personally taken them in the past when they were free for all Microsoft employees and found them incredibly similar to exam scenario questions. Nonetheless, if you don't want to spend the extra dollars, the Microsoft practice assessments should suffice. I've added links to the three resources in the video bio if you're interested in kickstarting your learning immediately. Hopefully by now, you know which Microsoft certifications you should get if you're a technical or non-technical Microsoft professional looking to upskill and differentiate yourself in the job market. However, if you're still on the fence about whether Microsoft certs are worth your time and effort, then you're gonna to wanna to check out my video over here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if you could like the video, leave a comment about what you learned and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me and help other people discover this channel as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.